tip on top of that. Okay. Well, I'm sure have four or five of those. I took out of your film. Three, two, one. Alright, so all these screws are stripped out. That's not always the case, but at least partially. screwdriver or something if your hand won't hold up to it. You see these a lot around bathtubs. It's a quick way to run water. You should have had a sealant right there but uh, dresses up this edge what the factory did. And they don't have to be terribly tight and small, they can come over a pretty good size gap. concerned about saving this tub and putting it back or something um, I would go underneath and pull the drain out and uh, take this panel here off which we will do um, and disconnect it and then lift it out but I'm not interested in saving this nobody wants a harvest gold uh, tub and uh, or it's not really harvest gold, it's just light yellow. Uh, and it's, see, this is the original color and it faded to a darker color. But nobody wants this, so I'm going to cut it up in pieces. And uh, th this garden type arrangement is just not up to par for anybody, any other thing. So we will cut this thing in pieces. And that means I will tear out the wall around it. And uh, that's what we're doing next. Normally you'd have to get a pry bar and mess around with it, but it's not really built or strong, so I'm gonna pull it up. and all that so we'll uh, pry bar that up looks like that uh, mechanical vent there we won't need that we'll have to go underneath and cut it and cap it um you might could use the mechanical vent inside the wall but i want to be careful about doing that because not want to go to the roof because they just put a brand new roof on so uh we're going to go be back and forth through this doorway so i'm going to take the door out since it's just going out anyway <laughs> 